Hello everyone, welcome to weekly current affair quiz. Let's start today's quiz. First question is, what is causing the Atacama salt flat in Chile to sink? Earthquakes, lithium brine extraction, over irrigation or deforestation? The correct answer is option B, lithium brine extraction. A new study shows Chile's Atacama salt flat is sinking 1 to 2 cm per year. The study was conducted by researchers at the University of Chile and published in IEEE Transactions on Geoscience and Remote Sensing. Next question, recently which of the following countries enacted the right to disconnect law? Sri Lanka, Brazil, Australia or Thailand? The correct answer is option C, Australia. Australian employees will have the right to ignore their bosses outside working hours as a new right to disconnect law comes into effect. The law which passed in February 2024 protects employees who refuse to monitor, read or respond to contact from their employers outside work hours. Next question, which area in Odisha's Puri district reported the recent bird flu outbreak? Bhuvaneshwar, Pipili, Konark or Puri town? The correct answer is option B, Pipili. Recently, more than 5,000 chickens were culled in Odisha due to the detection of the H5N1 strain of avian influenza, commonly known as bird flu, in the Pipili area of Puri district. Next question, the Lakhpati Didi initiative is part of which of the following ministries? Ministry of Women and Child Development, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises or Ministry of Rural Development. The correct answer is option D, Ministry of Rural Development. Recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi distributed certificates to 11 lakh newly recognized Lakhpati Didis. In addition to the certificate distribution, the Prime Minister also released a revolving fund, the Community Investment Fund, amounting to rupees 2,500 crore. Next question, why is there a great concern about the microbeads that are released into the environment? They are considered harmful to marine ecosystems. They are considered to cause skin cancer in children. They are small enough to be absorbed by crop plants in irrigated fields or they are often found to be used as food adulterants. The correct answer is option C. They are small enough to be absorbed by crop plants in irrigated fields. Recently, scientists have raised alarm after discovering microplastics in critical human organs including the brain. A new study has found that a lot more microplastics are present in the human brain than in any other organ. Next question, which of the following countries is not a security of supply arrangement partner of the US? Australia, India, Spain or Egypt? The correct answer is option D, Egypt. Recently, India and the United States have signed an agreement to ensure the mutual supply of defense goods and services to enable the acquisition of the industrial resources they need from one another to resolve unanticipated supply chain disruptions and meet national security needs. Next question, the Broken Ridge or Broken Plateau is an oceanic plateau located in which of the following oceans? Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean or Antarctic Ocean? The correct answer is option C, Indian Ocean. Years after the mysterious disappearance of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370, a fresh theory has emerged that could potentially shed light on the aircraft's fate. An Australian scientist has claimed to have found the perfect hiding place for the missing aircraft. Next question, Tanager 1 sometimes mentioned in the news is related to which of the following? Ransomware attack, cryptocurrency, methane tracking satellite or intercontinental ballistic missile. The correct answer is option C, methane tracking satellite. Recently, the Carbon Mapper Coalition's first satellite, Tanager 1, was successfully launched into orbit on the SpaceX Transporter 11 right shear mission. The satellite will use imaging spectrometer technology developed at Jet Propulsion Laboratory to track methane and carbon dioxide emissions. Next question, which of the following countries hosted the 53rd Pacific Islands Forum Leaders Meeting? Australia, Tonga, Fiji or Papua New Guinea? The correct answer is option B, Tonga. Recently, the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres issued a stark warning about the escalating climate crisis in the Pacific Islands during the 53rd Pacific Islands Forum in Tonga. He highlighted alarming findings from a World Meteorological Organization report 
which revealed that ocean temperatures in the southwest Pacific are rising at up to three times the global rate. Next question. SRY gene sometime mentioned in the news is related to which of the following? GM mustard, BT cotton, gene crucial for male determination or golden rice? The correct answer is option C, gene crucial for male determination. A recent study revealed that the Y chromosome which determines male sex is degenerating and may vanish in a few million years. Research from SRY deficient Amami spiny rats which lost the Y chromosome but still reproduce suggest humans might evolve a new male determining gene offering hope for survival despite the Y chromosome's decline. Next question, Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana was launched in which year? 2010, 2012, 2014 or 2016? The correct answer is option C, 2014. The Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana completes a decade of successful implementation on 28th August. It is the largest financial inclusion initiative globally bringing over 53 crore people into the formal banking system. Next question, Moran community sometimes mentioned in the news is the aboriginal tribes of which of the following states? Tripura, Gujarat, Assam or Sikkim? The correct answer is option C, Assam. PM Modi recently highlighted the unique relationship between the Moran community and Hulok Gibbons, India's only ape in Bearkuri village of Assam's Tinsukia district. Speaking during the 113th episode of Man Ki Baat, the PM praised the villagers for their extraordinary commitment to preserving and coexisting with these rare creatures. Next question, which is the most peaceful country in the world according to Global Peace Index 2024? Iceland, Yemen, Canada or El Salvador? The correct answer is option A, Iceland. Recently, the 18th edition of the Global Peace Index was released, produced by the Institute for Economics and Peace. The GPI is the world's leading measure of global peacefulness. Iceland remains the most peaceful country in the world, a position it has held since 2008. Next question, Marian Island, sometimes mentioned in the news, is located in which of the following oceans? Pacific Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Southern Indian Ocean or Atlantic Ocean? The correct answer is option C, Southern Indian Ocean. Recently, the country of South Africa is planning to bomb its Marian Island, a remote island around 2,000 kilometers southeast of Cape Town. The country has been thinking of taking such drastic action because the seabirds, especially albatrosses, are falling prey to mice. The country has come up with the world's most pivotal bird conservation effort, the Mouse Free Marian Project. Next question, what did the center recently allow the UPSC to use for verifying candidates' identities? Voter ID, PAN card, Aadhaar-based authentication or passport? The correct answer is option C, Aadhaar-based authentication. Recently, the government authorized the UPSC to perform Aadhaar-based authentication for candidates on a voluntary basis. This move comes in the wake of the commission cancelling the provisional candidature of probationary IAS officer Pooja Khedkar due to fraudulent activities. Next question, recently which of the following countries recorded the first death from a rare Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus in 2024? Tanzania, USA, Japan or Spain? The correct answer is option B, United States of America. Recently, the US has recorded this year's first death from a rare mosquito bone virus. The virus is officially called Eastern Equine Encephalitis Virus, also known as Triple E. This rare but severe virus was first identified in horses in Massachusetts in 1938. Next question, in which years did Major Dhyan Chand win Olympic gold medals in field hockey for India? 1924, 1928-1932, 1928-1932, 1936, 1930-1934-1938 or 1930, 1924 and 1928. The correct answer is option B, 1928, 1932 and 1936. The National Sports Day in India is celebrated on 29th August every year. It is celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of hockey legend Major Dhyan Chand Singh. He is credited with leading India to three consecutive Olympic gold medals in 1928, 1932 and 1936. His extraordinary skill on the hockey field earned him the nickname The Wizard. Next question, Typhoon Shan Shan recently made landfall on which of Japan's islands? 
Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku or Kyushu? The correct answer is option D, Kyushu. Recently, Typhoon Shashan has made landfall on Japan's southwestern island of Kyushu. Japan Meteorological Agency referred to it as the country's strongest typhoon of the year. Typhoon Shashan is bringing with it torrential rain and winds of up to 250 km per hour, strong enough to destroy homes. Next question, Gulia Glacier sometimes mentioned in the news is located at which of the following plateaus? Colorado Plateau, Kimberley Plateau, Laurentian Plateau or Tibetan Plateau? The correct answer is option D, Tibetan Plateau. According to a new study published in the Nature Geoscience, researchers have discovered ancient viral DNA preserved in the Gulia Glacier of the Tibetan Plateau, offering new insights into Earth's climate history. Researchers have identified nearly 1,700 viral species in ice core samples with about three quarters being previously unknown to science. Last question, where was INS Arighat commissioned? Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai or Vishakhapatnam? The correct answer is option D, Vishakhapatnam. Recently, the second Arihant class submarine INS Arighat was commissioned into the Indian Navy at Vishakhapatnam. The event was graced by Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh, who highlighted the submarine's significance in bolstering India's nuclear triad. INS Arighat is expected to enhance nuclear deterrence and establish strategic balance and peace in the region. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.